a common question that I've seen asked in the forums and the Discord for SimHub is how do you create a delta bar like you're seeing in the middle of this dashboard here and that you get in a lot of other racing sims. There's not a built-in delta bar in the Dash Studio, but we can cobble one together. I'll show you how in this video. Here's a dash I've been working on, and what we're concerned with is here in the middle. Now this delta bar is actually made up of three separate components. We have the red gauge on the left, and that's going to fill up if the driver is slower than the best lap. The green bar will fill up if the driver is being faster than the best lap. And this number in the middle will adjust accordingly. And by the way, you'd never see both the red bar and the green bar both filled up at the same time. It's just here in the display so I can see how it looks. But you're only going to see one of those two colors at once like you saw in the demonstration earlier. Let's delete these and I'll create it from scratch. The rest of the controls on here are locked so I can't accidentally click and drag something around with all these little uh, lock notifications there. And let me also delete this delta bar container. So we're going to need two linear gauges and we can get those linear gauges here from the left. If I click on there, it will bring a linear gauge down. Like I mentioned, we're going to need two linear gauges, one of them the red gauge on the left and one the green gauge on the right. Let's do the green gauge on the right. And I, I know where I'm going to be placing these. On your dashboard, you'll need to mess around with the placement and location. The important thing is that the left edge of your green bar matches up with the right edge of your red bar. Uh, so they meet cleanly in the middle. But I'm just going to manually enter in some, some values here. First of all, I'm going to call this my green delta bar. And I will assign it some properties here. And for the background color, I don't want any color to appear. I want it to be transparent. So the black background of my dashboard will come through. And the only thing that will appear is the actual gauge value, which is currently red, but we'll be setting it to green. For gauge alignment, we want this to be left. When we create the other gauge, uh, that will be right aligned. And for my color, I will choose this nice forest green. You can choose a color that works for you. Now, the minimum and maximum are important to us. Since this bar is on the right-hand side, this is going to indicate when the driver is faster than their best lap. So we actually want this maximum value to be a negative number. I know it sounds strange. And the minimum number will be zero. So this will go from zero to negative three. And that's negative three seconds. So if you're three seconds ahead of pace, it will be in the bar. If you were four, five, six, seven seconds ahead of pace, this bar would just stay filled to the edge of that. If, if you want to see a delta bar that's has a five second, negative five second to positive five second range, you can just change this value here. And then the value here is just what displays in our Dash Studio. What Right when the dashboard actually runs, this will get replaced. So I'm going to put in negative uh, 1.2, just so we see some, some green appearing there. Now we're ready to add our red delta bar, the delta bar on the left hand side. So I will click that will bring one in. And like before, I'm going to change some properties here. And I knew what those values are. You see how these two delta bars are properly aligned. So they look like they're one bar, even though they're two. Again, our background color, we want that to be transparent. You'll find that on the bottom left. I'm not putting a border or anything here. If you want to see a border around yours, you could change your border styles here. And this color, I'm going to use this, uh, this crimson one. There we go. Now notice that the bar is going to fill up from left to right. We don't want that. We want it to fill up from right to left. So I need to change this alignment from left to right. Now that's looking good. Again, we want to change our maximum. We'll keep our minimum at zero, but our maximum is going to be, in this case, three. 
So if you're three seconds slower than your best, then this bar will be filled. If you're one and a half seconds slower, you'd see it filled up to here. And if you were slower than three seconds, four, five, six seconds slower, this bar will be filled up all the way. Again, if you want to change that, you could change that maximum to say five. I'll use three. And for the value, I will use 1.2, just like I did with the other side, but this should be a positive number. So we have uh, our gauges filled just on this dash studio so we can see what it looks like. For both of these, now we need it to actively update when the value of the delta changes. So uh, since we're working on the red, let's click on that one. And then the value has this little f of x next to it, and that will bind a property to it. We're going to click on that, click on computed value, and then insert property. This is a list of all of the properties that we can work with in Dash Studio. We're concerned with one of the deltas, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, session best live delta seconds is what you want, all the way at the bottom. Good, and that's all you need. You should not have use JavaScript selected, and click OK, and you see that little green, that f of x has changed to a green background, indicating that there is a formula connected to the value of this gauge. We'll do the same thing over here. Great. The last thing that we want is a number in the middle here. If you just want your delta bar to be graphical, then you're, you'd be done. But we want to show uh, some text. So I'm going to put some text in here and change some of its properties. And I like this Eurostar font for dashboards. I've been using that in this particular dash. Good. And let's do 38 point font. And then for the, the text in here, this is what's going to show again just on the dashboard as we're editing it. And so I'm going to just put in a number like that. So we see what a number in there looks like. Uh, let's adjust that a little bit more. Okay, that's where my number is going to go. But just like with the delta bars, I need to associate this with a property, and I do that by clicking the F of X button next to the text property, and I'm going to select that same delta property we've been using before. Good. And so now that will update with the dash. Let me show you the dash one more time in action so you can see what it is we've done. So here we are on lap six. You can see that I am beating my best time. So we have negative numbers and the green side of the bar is firing. I slowed down in the latter half of the lap and it went to red. And that's how you create a delta bar in SimHub.